What's up guys, main man sweet or what's up YouTube? God damn it, I got it wrong. What's up YouTube, main man sweet here. Hoping you're all doing awesome as always. I'm here inside of Tekken 7, having lots of fun as usual. Well, I'm not playing ranked, so actually today I have not been diagnosed with testicular cancer yet. But I might be playing ranked later, so, you know, anything can happen. But we're gonna watch the Tekken 6 endings. I haven't done it yet. Uh, I'm thinking that's intro. This is the first ending. So I'm gonna do a review. Or review? B-view? Oh, it's so pathetic. I'm sorry. That gets a thumbs up from Lee. So, 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 wait, wait. The two best assassins in the world, Anna and Nina, team up on some random punk in a pool hall that weighs a hundred pounds and is just some random sack of shit. And they tag team him. Tekken tournament fighters, they own his ass. And then Lee's like... Wow. Applause. I I'm gonna watch this again because it's so dumb. Okay, wow, I got a nice ass, sure. And she... She pushes him. What? What, what, so it's, so it's just Anna and Nina being total fucking loser sacks of shit, beating up on someone alone, some random guy just minding his own business, they push him and then they beat him up. And Leo, supposed to be a good guy, goes thumbs up. What? Is that supposed to be a cool ending? Yeah, he pulled a knife after being uh, taken a fucking huge uh, ass to, to his back and then getting, what, punched in the face? Or did she kick him in the face? Jesus. Okay, Anna and Nina are total fucking sacks of shit. Face looks uh, weird. What? Did I press a button accidentally, or that's the ending? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so that was uh, Armor King Senior. Shaking hands with Armor King Jr. Oh god, this is cheesy. Don't lie to me. I killed him with my own hands. What the?
Oh god, just run them over. Do us all a favor. Oh, that's it! That's how it ends! Why exactly do they die? Aren't there multiple of those endings? They finish Azazel and then they just die like, um, what's her name? Marion Cotillard in uh, The Dark Knight Rises. Uh, the best death scene ever. After winning the tournament, Bob became a worldwide sensation. And his schedule was filled with a series of television and magazine interviews. Fat hero. All right. I only be 150 pounds. No! I don't get it. Did Kazuya Mishima sneak in during the night with a couple of surgeons and do a sneaky liposuction as he was sleeping, or did, did he not? happened to notice over a couple of months that he was losing weight steadily because he was not taking in as many calories. Oh, well, what? He, he suddenly stepped onto a scale and saw that he had lost all of his weight. There are no mirrors in his home. He never meets any friends. Or he's just a complete fucking idiot, which would... Uh, be pretty consistent with every other character in these fucking endings. Honestly, I, if Bandai Namco contacted me, I'd say, you know what? Don't need to pay me a dollar. I'm gonna write endings. And don't worry, I'm gonna keep your budget intact. I'm not gonna write, you know, spectacular action scenes or crazy stuff. I'm just gonna give you guys something that makes sense, is actually pretty funny and cool, and not completely fucking dumb. And I don't need a single dollar. And they're gonna be like, no, no, we st uh, you see that clown over there? Bozo the fucktard? He's our writer and he does it for $5,000 per month. We're gonna keep Bozo fucktard. Okay, that makes sense. Right now. I just wanted to see if I can help. Okay, Brian throws a, an iron girder, takes down a helicopter, kaboom, he walks with explosion behind him, fire everywhere, laugh? Oh, we got the laugh, okay. Not predictable in the least. Let's see. You guys cover me.
his Tekken 2 ending is better when he when the kid watches him uh, kick that boxing bag. And it's like, congratulations, in your ending in a Tekken game, you're not the new uh, Tekken Saibatsu, head of uh, Saibatsu, Thanks the new CEO. You you're somebody's bitch. Hey, I, I just beat everyone, boss. Oh, that's great, now clean up. Yeah, okay, boss, I'm gonna clean up, yeah. That's great, Bruce. You made it. <laughs> Dragon, <laughs> always looking for the next specimen. <gasps> it's Hulk Hogan in an F F16. No, it's Raven. Oh, boring! Imagine that being Hulk Hogan jumping down with a leg drop. Dun, 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 I am a real American. I love it. <laughs> Barbecue ninja. <laughs> what a sack of shit Raven is. <laughs> Raven is so fucking dumb. He didn't even notice a five pound C4 charge dragon of. Shoved into his fucking uh, underwear. <laughs> he just flew away. Oh god, she's burying her old uh, silicone tits. They had to take them out. They started to leak. She has new ones now. Oh no. Silicone de tetas. <laughs> Eddie, you said they were too small. Eesh, son of a bitch! God, he's so cool and stern. Okay, Fengwei looking fucking insane. <laughs> High on cocaine and then punching big boulders. That's basically Fengwei's ending. Cocaine! I mean, cinematically, that was really well made. Looked really cool, very nice uh, wide angle shot of him in the middle there. But at some point, maybe have Feng Wei's story progress. It was really cool in the Tekken 5 opening, still among probably the best Tekken opening of all time, where he kills his uh, Sifu, his teacher. And then after that, he wants to prove that he is the best uh, Kung Fu pra practitioner in the world or just the best fighter in the world he wants to beat everyone and in his way was his teacher got it you know nice but now he's just punching boulders 
He's just punching boulders all the time. Certainly there's something else we can do with uh, Feng Wei. Oh, right. Is this Devil Gunny? Ending is so childish, but but it's a, it's a good idea for an ending. Yeah, but in the end, he can't. The, the wings can't carry him. He can't fly because he's too fat. <laughs> oh, this ending is amazing. This one is amazing. Such a horrible death! <laughs> you are next up. Hiyashi's <laughs> 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 endings are always quality. I just love how he goes through all of the trouble to fucking launch a shuttle into space with Jin and Kazuya tied down and then he personally has to open a fucking uh, gate to space and with his own hands kick them out of a shuttle and probably watch them uh, through gravity get pulled into Earth's orbit, whatever. It's uh, it's just beautiful. Oh, we're doing this again. That one is decent. Jack! Where are you? Jack! 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 There you are! Jack? <gasps> wow! Have you done to yourself? <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> Looks like a proper Jack player there. Yeah, th this is actually Jack. prototype Jack from Tekken 1. Jack. Jack. There you are. <laughs> Jack, what have you done to yourself? <laughs> what a fucking moron. <laughs> I actually killed Nina. 
I don't know how much more I can take. Yes, yes, we got it. They all have nice ass and tits. We got it. Oh god, her face looked weird. <laughs> no, he actually comes in a helicopter and drops a nuke. <laughs> <laughs> it's breathtaking. <laughs> She's blinded immediately by the light. <laughs> then she burns up. You have no idea how disappointed I was in that ending when I played Tekken 6 for the first time. Back then, you know, I, I was young. I was like, how old was I? 2009. Uh, that is 11 years ago. I was 23. And I actually still had some... Um, uh, hopes when it came to Tekken Story and the endings and all of that and that way would progress the story a Kazuya's ending is literally you have your final fight versus Devil Jin and he basically walks out holding Devil Jin and he holds him up in front of the soldiers and the soldiers go you are now the, the boss again Mishima Zaibatsu is yours, basically. They sal salute him or something. And Kazuya laughs a little bit. Or oh, he does this. <laughs> Watch his Tekken 4 ending. That was... That, that's a game from 2002. Watch his Tekken 4 ending and just in, and just in com compare, contrast them in terms of story, moving the character forward, Giving Kazuya some cool moments. To be honest, it, this is just beyond pathetic. Considering what they did many years before. Oh, that close-up. So King walks around in his home with that mask on. And he keeps it very tidy and clean. You know, he vacuums pretty much all the time. You see, it looks very nice and tidy. Then he picks up this little photograph he has framed. Drops it. And behind there, all along, this horrible dark secret is a picture of Dual Armor King. So who, who put that photograph there and why? Did Armor King do that before he died? 
many years prior to this. Oh damn, he pulled it off? It's just so fucking dumb, but it's it's just so endearing. She just automatically makes everything so funny. God, I just want. Oh, I just want an ending where Lee gets fucking clocked by an elbow in the face in the end. He adjusts his shades, like, and when he does this, his turnaround. And then someone just fucking clocks him with a huge fucking elbow in the face. Oh, that would be an excellent ending. Is this poor guy again? The bag. Leave it here. This is Wu Long. I have a purse snatcher in custody. You know this one's gonna be a fucking dusty yawn fest. <laughs> ich bin deine kleine Strudel, Leo. Ich do me sex changey. What? No. Uh I, I know I was trying to do a, some form of a pathetic joke there at the start, but wh what happened? Dear Leo. Behind you. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh no, not these two fucking idiots again.
Yeah, Dumb and Dumber, except no charm. No Jeff Daniels, no Jim Carrey, just... Two clown idiots. And then a camera that occasionally checks out their tits and asses, and that's it. That's the ending. Tits, ass, long legs. Oh, I hate you! <laughs> Brilliant. She's already making friends. I'm so proud of her. Oh. Imagine Sebastian and Vian there just starting up a car. <laughs> And then he just runs them over and he says, it was for the best. Sebastian would be hailed as the greatest Tekken character of all time. He should be dead. So My god! Did he get paid, the individual who... No, you know what? They're usually on a pretty restricted budget, I think. And I think the last time they had a proper writer was actually in Tekken 4. That's when they had a, a professional story writer to make the ending. And believe me, you can tell. So I think here... I don't think they... It's not a writer. The one who comes up with the endings is probably one of the programmers. Or one of the animators. Hey Joe! Instead of taking a break today, can you in just 15 minutes write a synopsis for all of the endings? Oh, uh, I'm good. Uh, uh, Jack is a dumbass fucking idiot. Uh, Julia likes trees. Uh, Asuka tits, tits. Uh, Lily, uh, ass. Wonderful job, Joe. You did it again. Cheers! Yeah! All thanks to you, Steve. <laughs> it's ready, my Jesus, he looks scary. Did you guys see his face? Cheers! Yeah! All thanks to you, Steve. God, he looks super unsettling. It's ready, my special recipe pizza. It's a fucking horror it's movie delicious. face. This is good. He runs like a fucking idiot. <laughs> Look at his legs. Look at his knees. <laughs> Look at the feet. <laughs> Look at the clown shoes. Can someone give him proper shoes? He can't run in that. <laughs> You're just a big fucking disappointment. A huge failure. And when you when you can't even avenge your own sister in your ending, 
You, you were never meant to be anything, I guess, Miguel. Go back to your fucking lower mid-tier shit box. Mokujin set out to defeat the Dark Lord. Who had awakened from a long slumber. That ending inspired Sefi Black to pick him up, though. Oceans he fights for his sister! And deserts. Nah, Sefi Black's a good guy. I, I'm just trolling. He made his way to the castle of the Dark Lord. After a fierce battle, Mokujin defeated the Dark Lord. Took his place on the Dark Lord's throne. The end. It was beautifully um, drawn, but I didn't follow the story. Real uh, Bako, thanks so much for the uh, sub, man. Oh god, I can only see Nina's douchebag edgelord piece of shit loser face. So this one's gonna be narcissistic ass wipe ending. Oh, I'm so hot, look at my tits. Idiot. How did I know? How did I know? I don't know if it's just me, and I know it's Japanese, a little bit Japanese culture here, but it's a little teeny tiny bit disturbing when tech female Tekken characters are as sexualized as they are, you know, tits, 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 ass, ass, and then their endings, they behave like five-year-olds with cutesy music running around, <laughs> tits, tits. At some point, you have to decide, like, do, do I want the tits and ass thing and appeal to grown-ups? But then you can't do these uh, five-year-old little endings for kids, like... It's a bit weird. Ball and Law stopped at nothing in their attempt to win the tournament prize money. And slowly but surely made their way to the final round. They had set the stage carefully. And and yeah, it's that, that anime that thing blast. where they want girls to be like children. They want them to be like kids, but in a grown-up woman's body with huge tits and huge ass and rail fin, ah, but very, oh, you know, very goofy and childish. And it's like, fuck's sake. Ball and Law stopped at nothing in their attempt to win the tournament prize money. And slowly but surely made their way to the final <laughs> I like round. Him. They had set the stage carefully. And everything went according to their plan. Oh, okay. We're gonna kick each other in the balls. Leave it to me. Just as we planned. <laughs> Over. 
I have a punch to the balls is funny. Just because it's balls. Okay, Dragonov's gonna explode and stuff now. And Raven's gonna fly away and do. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, yes. Wow, you got a plane. Oh, I'm so cool. I'm standing on the plane upside down. I'm so badass. Hi, Kai, Jin, Retsu, Zaizen. Oh, Zaizen, that kaboom explode. No one? Can, can someone shoot him in the face? No? He's literally just standing there for 10 seconds. Oh, Dragonov, that took you a while. <laughs> just this short. But Raven, I don't like that he took the ball, but goddamn, he's pretty sexy. But, so it's basically the same as Raven's ending, they just changed the last second. Experience alone was reward enough. You two can split it amongst yourselves. See you around. Man! Thanks, Steve! He's a great guy! <laughs> He's a great <laughs> guy. <laughs> what? I don't get it. What, what? Oh, okay, so that, that was Steve's ending? What? Okay, I know that to save costs, to save money, you put as many characters as possible into the same set piece. So that's why they put Steve, Paul, and Law there. Let's tie them together so we don't have to make something unique for Steve, Paul, or Law. But so Steve's ending is saying, you guys keep the cash, he goes out, and Paul and Law get blown up and die. And then Steve looks into the camera like this. So his ending is that his friends die. That's Steve's ending. Okay. <laughs> Look at that mouth. <laughs> Smells like 
能够到你那里去。<笑>我们 try to cash in on his Tekken 5 ending, but man, no way I can touch that. Oh God! Get over yourself, you sack of shit. Oh, I'm gonna go jump. Uh, styles his hair for two hours, takes out his nicest coat. Look at that turnaround. He's so fucking righteous. I don't like this mix. It it's disturbing to me. Cutesy girl room. Everything's pink. She's on his on her underwear. But check out her ass. I don't like it. That's a buff. He goes Devil Yoshi and then he stabs once and it's over. Oh, it's a Soul Edge reference. Okay. Oh, this one's gonna suck. One more boob shot. Boobs or ass? O otherwise, it's pretty conservative. No more boobs or ass, really? Okay, mm, slightly more boobs. W wiggle, wiggle. Okay. Okay, everything explodes. Okay. I was like, this one is great, but it's scenario campaign intro. Okay, we watched them all. But honestly, overall, this, this is terrible. They've... They,
Tekken 4 and Tekken 5 destroy these endings. Man, it, it's really gone downhill. You know, Tekken 6, garbage story, this is garbage. And Tekken 7 character episodes are just pathetic. Uh, I massage, massage. Thanks so much for the sub. And Yami Yoshimitsu, thanks so much for your subbing. Big thanks. Um, well, that was the Tekken 6 endings. Uh, my review is this. But I don't like it at all. I think it's shit.